Thus it is engraven and ordained on the heavenly tablets. So in the tablets in heaven, it's ordained. What we're about to read here. Read. And there is no neglecting this commandment for a single year or from, it, or from year to year. Verse 32. And command thou the children of Israel. Now he told Moses, command the children of Israel. Now don't forget, we just came out of Egypt here. Command the children of Israel what? That they observe the years according to this. To what? To this. To what? To this. To this. Not anything else the Gentiles may give you. Not anything else. According to what I'm telling you here is the path to stay on and not profane in the Sabbaths. Read that they observe the years according to this reckoning 364 days. He says, make sure you stay on 364 days, which is impossible if you're following the moon. Because you have six months, 30, and then you have some months, six months, 29. So how would you be able to follow 364 days from the moon? Absolutely impossible. So that's why the Gentiles and the Babylonians had us deal with the Luna. Mm -hmm. See that? Hopefully this will help the, uh, the Luna side of people. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it'll help the Luna side of people, yeah. Not that... Let me tell you, their intent was correct. They knew that something was wrong, but they fell into another trap. There's many traps out there. But hopefully, if they see this information, based on their study, it will lead them right. Because they can take that same fervent spirit they were dealing with there and say, okay, let me see what's going on with this 364-day cycle that the Most High says we should keep 52 weeks. And see, because of this, because they tried, they would go at the new moons that was actually dealing with the Luna, and it would throw them off. Because why? It was 30 days. You can't get seven into 31. So they would wait 28 days and wait again and wait till they see, and they would count from a new moon seven days and start then. So every month, the Sabbath fell on a different day. It was tough for them. Down it's easy. But I know it's going to be shocking to them when they do all that and come back to the fact that what they call sundown Friday to Sunday, some so-called uh, sundown Saturday has been the Sabbath the whole time. It never changed. It never changed. In a nutshell, a year began on what they would call Sunday because you're talking about Saturday sundown and it begins it, it begins on a so called Sunday which is first day or Saturday sundown and it ends on a what it ends on a Sabbath see that seven all the way around see that finish reading what you have uh, this is the end of verse 32 go ahead and these will constitute a complete year. These will constitute a complete year, read. In them according to their testimony. And they will not leave out any day, nor disturb any feast. But if they do neglect, and they do not observe them according to his commandment. If you don't do this according to the commandment the Most High has given you. So when it comes to remembering the Sabbath, all this is what we're reading encompasses in it. Because to keep the Sabbath, you must be on the correct cycles. Right? Read. Uh, the middle of verse 33. Then they will disturb all their seasons, and their years will be dislodged from this order. And their years will be dislodged from this order. Read. And they will disturb the seasons, and their years will be dislodged. Go ahead. And they will neglect their ordinances. And all the children of Israel will forget and will not find the path of the years, and will forget the new moons and seasons and Sabbaths. 
and they will go wrong as to all the order of the years. For I know, and from henceforth will I declare it unto thee. And it is not of my own devising, for the book lies written before me, and on the heavenly tablets the division of days is ordained, lest they forget the feast of the covenant, and walk according to the feast of the Gentiles. Of the who? Of the Gentiles. After their error and after their ignorance. After their error and after their ignorance. Of course, the Gentiles would follow it ignorantly because the law wasn't given to them. Mm -hmm. See that? They didn't receive the law. They're like, you can't blame me. We didn't get it. So, so if you learn from them, them, you will be totally confused. Why? They are confused. Right? Read. Uh, the end of verse 36. For there will be those who will assuredly make observations of the moon. It's, it's, it's those that would make observation or they would try to reckon the year and try to calculate the beginning and ending of the year from what? Of the moon. Of the moon. That's the error. And it's a shame because this is what all Hebrews everywhere utilize, including the Jewish Khazars. But it didn't start with the Jewish cause ours. The Romans were doing it also. Before the, the Romans, guess who were doing it? You got it, the Babylonians. Read. For there will be those who will assuredly make observations of the moon. Go ahead. How it disturbs the seasons and comes in year from year to year. Ten days too soon. Why say ten days too soon? Because you have months of 29 days. And when you break it down, all the cycles of the moon together is not 360. It's 354. 354 is the cycle of the moon within the 364 day cycle from the rising of the sun which is the correct cycle. I'm going to show you how to calculate it in one second. Read. For this reason, the years will come upon them. Uh, this is the middle of verse 37. For this reason, the years will come upon them when they will disturb the order and make an abominable day, the day of testimony. They will make an abominable, abominable day, the day of testimony. And an unclean day, a feast day. And an unclean day, a feast day. And they will confound all the days, the holy with the unclean. They will confound all the days, the holy with the unclean. And the unclean, and the unclean day with the holy. Go ahead. For they will go wrong as to the months and Sabbaths and feast and jubilees. And jubilees. Go ahead. Verse 38. For this reason I command and testify to thee, that thou mayest testify to them. For after thy death, Thy children will disturb them, so that they will not make the year 364 days only. And for this reason, they will go wrong as to the new moons and seasons and Sabbaths and festivals. So it says it's only, there's only one way to calculate the Most High's year. And the moons have nothing to do with it. Read. It's the, uh, the end of verse 38. And they will eat all kinds of blood with all kinds of flesh. Okay, now, let's go to the book of Enoch, 72 and 31. Now, in order to understand how to start a year, stick with us closely because we're going to break it down. A matter of fact, I'm going to make this part two of this particular lesson so that someone can go directly to part two if they would like. <clears throat> One moment.